Meet the villain of Down Under, the notorious toxic cane toad, an unwelcome guest from distant lands that has multiplied into an army of millions within the blink of an eye. They're packing a poisonous punch that's harming both pets and native animals. Even worse, the Australian government can't seem to kick them out, and pretty much everyone despises them. But hold on to your seats, because there's an unlikely hero with no fear, an oversized water rat. Today, we're diving into the incredible story of how these toxic cane toads went from ignoring water rats to despising them with a burning passion. Let's start with why cane toads are such a nightmare. Cane toads have been causing havoc in Australia's delicate ecosystems since their introduction from Central America back in the 1930s. When these toads feel threatened, they release a nasty neurotoxin from special glands near their heads, which, if ingested, can lead to seizures, paralysis, and even death. As they spread into new territories, native predators mistake them for regular frogs and try to make a meal out of them, only to meet a grim end due to respiratory failure shortly after. Biologists have witnessed the devastating impact of cane toads on the local wildlife, with species like the yellow-spotted monitor and the endangered northern quoll teetering on the edge of population collapse. Even larger predators like crocodiles were mysteriously turning up dead, with little cane toads in their bellies. But how did these toads even come to Australia all the way from Central America? Back in 1935, the Australian government introduced roughly 2,400 cane toads into northern Queensland. The government wanted to help sugarcane plantation owners dealing with pesky cane beetles that were munching away at their sugarcane roots. What they didn't realize was that back then, cane toads had no natural predators in Australia. They were incredibly voracious eaters, and they could make babies faster than you can say cane toad. As a result, they went on a rampage, spreading like wildfire. Fast forward to today, and Australia is grappling with millions of these toads. Housing an invasive species like the cane toad really sucks. But a couple of years ago, scientists began to notice something interesting. The scientists came across a deceased toad that had been cut open in a unique and unmistakable manner. In a cozy little creek measuring just three to five meters in size, it became a daily routine for the scientists to stumble upon multiple toads, each with a precise incision running down their chests. It was as if someone with surgical precision was at work in this tiny creek, leaving behind a puzzling mystery. After a few weeks of research, to their surprise, the scientists found that the native water rat, better known as the Rakali, was the perpetrator. The highly intelligent rodent with extremely sharp claws and teeth was fighting back. After observing the rats, the scientists witnessed that they were turning these toads upside down and making a super precise cut right down their chest. And get this, they even knew how to take out the gallbladder, which holds toxic stuff. In addition to chowing down on the heart and liver, they'd skillfully peel off the toxic skin from one or both legs and savor the safe-to-eat thigh muscle. These critters had their toad menu all figured out. Scientists believe that the water rats learned these skills within just a couple of years after the toxic toads infiltrated the area. They think the rats might have started from scratch, meaning they figured out which parts of the toad were harmful through trial and error. Alternatively, they might have had previous experience dealing with toxic frogs native to Australia. Either way, water rats invest a lot of time in caring for their offspring, so it makes sense that the parents are passing on their wisdom about how to deal with cane toads and avoid the dangerous parts. There's a good chance that these smart rat kids might move to other areas and teach their own offspring how to handle and feast on these big juicy toads. Hopefully, these native rodents can help decrease the number of toxic toads in the future. Water rats are the unsung heroes in this story, and it's no surprise that cane toads hate these clever rodents. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. See you next time.